Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we got part 13 of my fitness database. And as I always say, whether you care about fitness or not, this is about building databases. So even if you're working with customers or products or inventory, all these techniques are just as valid. I'm just doing a fitness database. So if you haven't watched parts 1 through 12, go watch those first, then come on back. Alrighty, we got our meal table, we got our meal detail table, we got our meal detail queue that's got the calculations in it. Now we're ready to start on the form. I like to work from the inside out, so we're going to start with the subform first. Uh, this will be a brand new one, so we're going to copy the continuous form. Copy, paste. This will be the meal detail F. And in the meal detail F, this is where the line items go. Let's make meals be blue. So let's open up formatting here. I'm gonna make this guy blue and blue and a little less blue. Drop this down, go to more colors and slide this up just a touch. That, there we go. All right, we're gonna bind this guy to that query that we built in the last class, the meal detail queue. That's got our calculated values in it. We don't need the ID. Um, we're gonna basically have a combo box over here to pick the food item. All right, now we already have a food combo box, which is right, oh no, we don't have a food combo box. We don't have one yet, let's make one. So I was thinking of the, uh, the category combo box. So we're going to go to form design, find my combo box right there, drop it here, look up the values in a table or query from the food table, um, bring in the food ID, the description, and you can see whatever you want to see in the box when it's open. I like to see calories and protein. Next, what do you want to sort it by? Let's sort it by description. Next. This is what it's going to look like when the box is open. Make sure your stuff fits in there. Like yeah, that looks good right there. These can be smaller. Next, store that value in the food ID field of the meal detail table. Okay. Next, the label doesn't matter. We're going to delete it, finish it, delete the label. Slide this guy over here, make it as big as you think it needs to be. Uh, let's give it a good name. This will be the food combo. Let's slide this up next to it. This will be our quantity. It can be nice and tiny. Control source is quantity. Copy that to the name. Now we got two other fields I want to bring in here. Go to add existing fields, it's total calories and total protein. I wanna bring those in. Those are the ones I care about. Delete the labels. You can bring in whatever you want. Slide them over here, like so. And I'm just doing this so I can make sure they're all the same size. And then I put it up here. And notice how these are all just slightly different in size. So I'm gonna select everybody, right click, size to grid. I know it's off your screen, but it's right click, size to grid. You should know that one, that's a beginner one. Okay, uh, these guys are calculated fields, so we're gonna make those gray. And we're gonna bring up their properties, right click properties, and we're gonna make them not tab stop, so you can't tab to them. So when you tab it, just go tab tab. While we're at it, let's fix the tab stop. Form design, tab order, auto order, because that quantity was on there first. And now we can shrink that up. We can shrink that up. We can edit the labels. Let's just make one big label across the top. Like we've been doing. Food item. And then quantity. And then calories. And for me, it's protein. All right. And make it all fit. Let's see. Put a space there, rid of that space, let's see, space there, no, that's close enough, doesn't have to be exact, 
I'll tweak it later. <laughs> there we go. I always like to leave this little bit of space here too for the scroll bar. Um, let's see what we got. Save it, close it, open it up. All right, looking pretty good. Now we got all the meals on here now. Uh, this is an instance where I think I am gonna right align this guy and maybe make these a little bit bigger so those have some more room to fit in there. Yeah, let's make these a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go with these guys. We're gonna stretch these out just a little bit. So, there. nope, missed you. There. Okay, so quantity to there, calories is just about right, and then protein to there. That's much better. Okay, bring this over, right align this guy, save it, close it, open it. That looks a lot better. Okay, I like my labels to be a little more spaced out. Um, now, normally when we drop this subform into the meal parent form, we'll only see the items for each meal, right? That relationship is handled by the subform object, but I would like to see totals down here. So for each meal, you see the totals. So design view, I'm gonna copy both of those, copy, click, paste. I figured out that that pasting thing, it works a lot better if you click on the section you want to paste the stuff into instead of just clicking on the background. Click on the click on the, the, the bar. Okay, let's line these up underneath there. This is going to be, okay, this is total calories. So this is going to be equals the sum of total calories. And we're gonna call it sum total calories. Okay, see how this works? This guy is going to be equals the sum of total protein, and we're going to name it sum total protein. Okay, save it, and squeeze out some space there, close it, open it, there's our totals. Looks pretty good so far. Let's put it up here. Okay, now let's make the parent form. All right, I'm gonna just copy this guy since it's got the formatting that I want. We'll just switch it over to a regular uh, a single form. So copy meal deal t detail F, copy, paste into meal F. And, oh, someone's beaming in. All right, we're gonna edit this guy. Now we don't need, let's see, we don't need the header. I'm gonna leave one label here though. We, we, we need the label. I don't wanna lose that label. Do that. Uh, we don't need this. We don't need this stuff. We're gonna change this so that it's getting its data from the meal T, the meal table, which means this is no longer valid. So we're gonna change this to description, right? Drop that down, pick description, copy and paste it into the name as well. Okay. And I'm gonna move this label down here and then watch this. Cut, paste. I've now attached that label to this text box. That's how you do it. You cut it out, you click on this and you paste it on it. All right, slide him over here. We don't need this header section, goodbye. This is going to be a description. This is the description of the meal. Okay, like that. And then we'll make this bigger. In fact, I want this guy to stand out. So let's uh, let's left justify it. Let's or left align. I keep saying justify it. Left align. Let's make it big, like fourteen point bold. All right, there we go. There we go. That looks good. Um, and in here, we're gonna have the subform. So grab your subform, meal detail F. Click, drag, drop. Okay, it says. A form of the subform can't have its default view set to continuous forms. Yeah, you can. I have a whole separate video on the, that you can do this, but in this particular case, we don't want it to be. So it's gonna change this back to single form for us. If you wanna switch it back to continuous form, you can, that's a bug, or at least a, 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 a an invalid uh, error. Okay, so there's that. 
Make this as big as you think it needs to be to fit all the items you're going to display. I've found that most meals only have about four or five items on them, so I'm not going to make this too big. All right, make this fit to there. Close that up like about to there. This won't be scrolling. Now, down here in the footer section, or you can put it below this. It doesn't matter either way. Um, we could put our notes down here. Right, we got notes for the meal. I have notes on a lot of my meals. Now I've already got a purdy note box right there that I'm gonna copy. So we're gonna right click design. We're gonna copy you, control C. We're gonna come back over here. We're gonna click, we're gonna paste. There's my notes. And as long as it's named the same thing, you don't gotta worry about changing anything else. All right, there we go. I'm gonna leave some room here because uh, the members are gonna be doing something interesting over here a little bit later. But that should be it for now. Let's take a look at what we got. Save it, close it, uh, open up the meal F, and there you go. Fish, rice, veg. Go to the next one, morning cereal. There it is. Want to add something to your morning cereal? Just drop this down. What else is going in there? Black beans. Okay, oh, that's gross. <laughs> no, we don't want that. And I will allow deletions and stuff in here too. That's fine. We don't need this set of record selectors. This gets confusing. And in fact, now that I look at it, I don't, I think I want to bring, because this is the record selector for the whole meal itself. I think I'm going to bring this into the detail section instead of having it in the footer. I think it looks a little confusing the way it is now. So we're just basically going to open this up a little bit. We're going to move this up into here. So it's one big section. And we don't need this footer section for now. So we'll just shrink it up. We might do something with it later. I think that will look less visually confusing. And then uh, for this guy, click on the subform object, then double click right there to bring up his properties and turn off his navigation buttons right there. Save it, close it, close it, open it. Yeah, that looks a lot better. That looks a ton better. Um, yeah, because this is now for the whole meal. This is for the individual items. You don't have that confusing bar in here. You still see your totals. Let's put the word totals in there, in fact. Right-click design. I'm going to copy this label. Click. Copy. Click down here. Paste. Change this to totals. You can put a colon in there if you want to. I'm not going to. I used to put colons in all my labels, and then I just got kind of, like, sick of it, so I don't anymore. <laughs> if you watch my older classes, I got colons everywhere. Okay, right there. Save it, close it. There's a lot of save it, close it, open it. <laughs> okay, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, lots more little enhancements to do. We're going to make a meal list uh, button over here that'll bring up a list of all of these guys instead of just a single, kind of like we have the food list here, right? We're going to do the same thing with the meal list. And uh, we'll start doing that. In tomorrow's video. So tune in tomorrow. Same bad time, same bad channel. Members, you can watch it right now because I'm still recording tonight. But that's going to do it for part 13. That's your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow for part 14. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of Access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like level one, level two is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level.
Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus, you get access to my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject, and you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.